Hi, thanks for checking out our channel here. This is going to be kind of an overview and just a kind of a show and tell video of this particular unit. This is a this is the biggest fence charger at this time made and sold by any company in the whole world. This is a hundred store jewel unit, probably outputs somewhere in that 70 jewel range. Um, it's called the Gallagher M10,000i. Um, it is a monster of a unit. I've, I've only seen one in person one other time. That was about f four years ago, five years ago. And it was, I, you know, when I saw it, I'm like, what the hell is that thing? Because you look at it, I mean, it has got some freaking girth to it. I mean, <laughs> it, is, it is big. Uh, we're gonna, I'm going to weigh this thing, too, because when you pick it up, it just... It's just got some weight to it. I mean, it's there's a lot going on the inside of this thing. I mean, it's not just a box that clicks. I mean, it did. It's got some freaking power to itself. I mean, 100 store joules, 70 something output. It'll really just knock the crap out of anything that goes on with it. It is also an adaptive control unit as well, which Gallagher has been doing adaptive control on their large units uh, 20 joule 25 joules and larger since the 1980s back in the old mx 5000 mx 7500 and our mx 2500 here in the states they were doing adaptive control in the last um seven eight nine years they've moved they've done that moved that adaptive control stuff into their 11 joule and larger units basically what that adaptive control means it the unit will adapt its output to what it feels is hooked up to it so if it feels a pretty clean fence or a shorter fence than what it's capable of doing it will only output what it feels it needs to put out uh, if it feels okay it's, you know I can I'll put out 20 percent of my power because that's all I feel like I need to use and as soon as grass starts growing up on there or an animal gets touched touches the fence or you add more wire to the to the system it will ramp its jewels up internally because it's more resistance so they run real efficient on the inside not a lot of brands do that adaptive stuff if they do they only do it on the larger stuff or they don't do it at all you know that's why some brands um, have trouble with their larger units failing or the mid-sized units failing because people want a lot of power for not a lot of money so they buy a cheap one at the farm store and then get three years, four years, two years out of the thing, and overheats and goes bad internally. And it's because they got too large of a unit on too small of a fence. So Gallagher makes um, 11 joule and larger that are adaptive units. So you can put a say an 11 joule Gallagher called an M1100. You can put one of those on a, on that's designed say for 300 acres. 250 somewhere in that range you can put it on 40 acres and you don't have to worry about the unit overheating on the inside the transformer going bad or whatever because it will only use what it needs so um it's a they're you pay more for their stuff but the quality from a repair guy standpoint you really can't you really can't go wrong with the gallagher i mean i mean i'm i'm a we became a dealer for the gallagher brand back in december or back in january 2021 but I don't go out of my way to sell somebody something. We fix 95% of what comes through here, and and 75% of them are non-Gallagher. So we we work on a lot of brands, and a lot of things leave here. I, you know, maybe we'll sell them something, but I don't want to be a sales guy. I want to fix your stuff. But if you want a, a good unit, you don't have to buy the M10,000i because it's, you know, it's it's um, probably 2,500 bucks give or take for one of these things. And so they're not cheap, but they're reliable. They're, I mean, it's, like I said, it's the biggest one in the whole world. So before we open this up and see the inside of it, I want to I want to uh, weigh this thing and just see how much it weighs. Come on. All right, let's put it on here. I'm going to save the weight, pull it off. 
21 pounds, 11 ounces. So almost 22 pounds, what the same weight. It feels heavier than that, but 21 pounds, 11 ounces, almost 22 pounds. So let's, um, the one thing I do know about this unit, just from talking to people, since this is, a, this is an adaptive control output unit, it has rows of capacitors in it, and it's got two big transformers in it, and it only pulls energy from certain capacitors in, a, in one transformer as needed. So as your fence load conditions worsen because of grass or whatever, um, it will pull more capacitors into the mix. And at worst comes at worst, it pulls more capacitors and a secondary transformer. And then you start getting more and more power to the fence. But as the fence conditions lessen or you burn the grass off or whatever or clean up the problems, it pulls, it lessens its energy down to, to only one transformer and maybe a bank of capacitors. But I think there's like four or five or six banks of capacitors inside these big units. But let's um, pull this off here. But yeah, this thing just, it just feels feels like quality so let's pull the knobs off here we're gonna do a, a voltage check on it hey dad on that table over there the shipping table uh, almost to the wall there's a Gallagher tester sitting there yeah it's on the, one of those boxes in the back there it's a little orange egg shaped one Got a Gallagher fault finder we're going to test this with. Go up to the house, going to bite to eat. All right, this is a 110, 120 volt unit. Plug it in. And it does have a digital controller that plugs into the back of the thing. See it kind of voltage reading me get out of this thing. I think it's rated for 10,000 volts. Thinks what this thing puts out. Ten point five kV, and it's got a hundred and four amp number coming out of it, but it's 10,000 volts. Now, just for the heck of it, I want to see what kind of spark this thing will jump. I'm a little nervous about doing this, but let's try it. And plug it real quick. I want this thing to bite me on accident because there's a lot of power here. Plug it back in. I'm going to take this wire. I'm going to get real close to the hot tool and see what kind of spark it throws. It's uh, <laughs> it's even some having some of their smaller ones have plastic right here on their on their knobs because plastic all the way through. These ones have metal all the, on the bottom. So probably because it's such a hard hitting unit. But let's put the knobs back on here. in here or take the screws out of it so can, these are uh, tampa proof screws figure out what screws are in there I don't know I gotta figure that out not those Looks like there's 
two screws up here. I don't know if I need to take those out or not, but let's. I don't want to take too many screws out if I don't have to. Okay, yep, I gotta take those out too. what the inside of it looks like from the from there but you can see all the capacitors they've got in this thing two great big transformers the output logic board it does remote control stuff and talks to everything uh, yeah it's got one two three twelve yeah, 12 capacitors in this thing. What size are they? I can't even tell. They're hard, hard to read. But yeah, basically how this thing runs. I mean, there's the main power board that does everything right there. I don't want to touch too much because I don't want to get discharged through my finger and blow me off the face of the planet with all these capacitors. But anyways, um, basically how this thing runs, it only pulls from like a certain set of capacitors and one transformer then as problems arise in the fence or whatever it pulls more capacitors in the mix it pulls in the other transformer and so that way it gives it um, more power when it needs it but man it's pretty cool what's the hell this thing say R risk of electric shock discharge capacitors before servicing yeah exactly Yeah, yeah, channel one, channel two. It's, yeah, it's got two channels. That's right. I remember talking about that. It does two channels, you know, one channel, second channel. But I forget which capacitors. Are probably these are probably the main ones into this transformer and output. And it maybe it pulls in these, the second transformer on the out, on the second channel when it needs it. But in this sum, this is pretty slick. I like. I don't want to take too much of a part of this thing because. This is a brand new unit we're sending to a guy that he bought this in the remote control. So I don't want to mess with it too much. But I, I wanted to see the inside. And the good thing about this, compared to some of the other big ones that are out there, like um, like a uh, Speedrite 63000 or a Stay Fix M30, M63, when you work on those things, see all these capacitors? They've got a bunch of capacitors on there, but that one big transformer... And all the capacitors on theirs are soldered to the board. When you, and when you have to fix it, when you buy a new board for it, because all new capacitors, you, if, even if those capacitors are good on the other board, you can't take them out and get just the board. you got to buy the board and the capacitor. These, you sh you can, I'm not going to do it, but you can wiggle and pull these capacitors out, replace just the board, say lightning hits it, blows the board up. You can pay all the capacitors out test to make sure they're good probably going to be good put a new board back in there plug all your capacitors back in and then wire everything back up to it but man it's pretty nice looking unit on the inside yeah pretty impressed so all right let's put this back up here let's put Cover back on. Come on. drill well 
that comes with all sorts of information for you if you got those zone things you have up to uh, six zones uh, thing up on there well, look at this this is congratulations on being the proud new owner of the world's most powerful and intelligent energizer Yeah, this is M10,000 eyes are flagship energizer, energizer designed to give you outstanding performance right to the back of the farm, but it's the smarts inside that could really make a massive time-saving difference. So, it's even signed by Sir William Gallagher. That's pretty, that's pretty neat, nice little touch. I think I've got a template how to mount it. For your screws and everything. That's your manual and your mounting screws for it. And like I said, it even comes with, I'm not going to pull it out of there, but all the I series units come with this little digital controller that, that's waterproof, up to like three feet of water. And it tells you at a glance what's going on. It plugs in right in the back of the unit here. So most these units have to be installed indoors. And you just spend two, 2500 bucks, give or take, on this thing better protected on the inside keep it protected from the elements from moisture and these things are pretty well built put together but they're not waterproof no AC unit the straight AC is waterproof from any brand but these digital controllers are so you, it comes with like a oh, probably a 30 foot 40 50 foot cable like a phone jack and on there plugs in right there and it displays you on the front there your voltage your amp draw you, know, you set your parameters of, of alarms and stuff in there for your system. So we have, we sold this to a guy that won the biggest one he could get. And he'd already kind of mentioned this one to me before I even brought it up. He said, well, what do you think about that big 10,000i by Gallagher? I'm like, uh, <laughs> it's a beast. It's a monster of a unit. It's just uh just feels like quality pick it up just the aesthetics of it just look like a beast beast this is beast <laughs> remember that this yeah. is beast I, I, somebody had a picture of that episode that's what I put down I wrote this is beast <laughs> three people like that yeah all right, so we're going to box this up, sent to the customer. Like I said, he bought the remote control for it as well. So if you want one or want anything related to Gallagher, give me a call. Happy to help you out. All of our information is down below in the description area. I found my business card. I give a screenshot of it but I can't find my card here that's fencerfixer.com is my website everything's down below in the description area of the, in the video alright well box it up sent off to the customer so until next time see you later